Welcome Keystone Investors. Today, we're diving into Ethereum 2.0. Imagine Ethereum as a super-powered computer that anyone can use. It was born from the brain of a programmer named Vitalik Buterin. Back in 2013, Vitalik looked at Bitcoin and thought, what if we could do more than just send money back and forth? He wanted a playground where developers could build their own unique projects. So in 2015, Ethereum was launched with its own digital money called Ether. Ethereum quickly became the hotspot for developers, birthing an array of applications, including a whole new financial landscape called Decentralized Finance or DeFi. However, Ethereum's popularity was both a blessing and a curse. As more people flocked to use it, Ethereum started getting congested slowing down transactions and raising costs. On top of that, Ethereum, like the old Bitcoin, uses a system called proof of work to keep everything in check. However, this system has a hefty appetite for energy and isn't the fastest kit on the block, limiting Ethereum to handle only about 15 transactions per second. And that's where Ethereum 2.0 comes in. It's an upgrade that aims to supercharge Ethereum's speed, efficiency, and capacity, all while keeping things secure and fair. It's a bit like upgrading from a single lane road to a super highway, enabling more traffic to flow smoothly. This change is pretty huge, and that's why everyone's talking about Ethereum 2.0. In this video, we'll break down what Ethereum 2.0 is all about, why it's important, and how it might change the crypto landscape. And to make things even more interesting, we have a surprise for you. At the end of this video, we'll be sharing some key tips on how you might navigate the changes Ethereum 2.0 brings. So don't miss out. Whether you're an Ethereum fan, a casual observer, or completely new to crypto, we're here to make this journey easier for you. Time to roll up our sleeves and get to know Ethereum 2.0. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Ethereum 2.0? Well, at its core, Ethereum 2.0, also known as ETH2 or Serenity, is a significant upgrade to Ethereum blockchain. It's not a new coin or a different Ethereum. Instead, it's like a renovation of the existing Ethereum house, making it bigger, faster, and greener. The two key improvements of Ethereum 2.0 can be thought of in terms of a library. Imagine Ethereum 1 as a small, bustling library packed with people checking out books. It's great to see so much activity, but it's also crowded, a bit slow, and uses quite a bit of electricity for lighting and computers. Ethereum 2.0 is like an upgraded library with more space, quicker service, and energy-efficient lights. The second improvement is a shift from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. Going back to our library example, proof-of-work is like having the librarian check each book individually to confirm its authenticity. It's secure but slow and energy-consuming. On the other hand, proof-of-stake is like a trusted group of book checkers who put up their own books as collateral to ensure they do their job right. It's still secure but faster and more energy efficient. With these changes, Ethereum 2.0 aims to be faster, greener, and be able to accommodate more users and applications than ever before. It's a big step forward, and as Ethereum users or potential investors, it's essential to understand what this upgrade means. Now let's take a closer look at one of the fundamental changes Ethereum 2.0 brings. The move from proof of work to proof of stake. Proof of stake is like a conductor of Ethereum 2.0 orchestra, ensuring everyone plays in harmony. But how does it do that? And how is it different from proof of work? In the old Ethereum and Bitcoin, proof of work is the conductor. Here, powerful computers known as miners compete against each other to solve complex math puzzles. The first one to solve the puzzle gets to add a new block of transactions to the blockchain and receive rewards. This process ensures security but is time consuming and uses massive amounts of energy, equivalent to some country's total energy consumption. Now imagine a different kind of conductor, one that doesn't require a cacophony of competing instruments but rather a committed group of players. This is proof of stake. In this system, the creators of new blocks called validators are chosen based on how many ether they're willing to stake or lock up as deposit. The more ethers you stake, the higher the chance you have to be chosen as the next block creator. Now proof of stake brings a few benefits over proof of work. First, 
it reduces energy consumption dramatically. It's like moving from fossil fuels to renewable energy. It's good for our digital world and good for our physical world too. Second, it's faster. Validators don't have to compete to solve a puzzle. They're chosen based on their stake, which means transactions can be processed more quickly. It's like upgrading from dial-up internet to high-speed broadband. In Ethereum 2.0, this proof-of-stake system is already up and running in what's called the beacon chain, the backbone of Ethereum 2.0. Validators are already staking their ethers and securing the Ethereum 2.0 network. This is a crucial first step towards the full realization of Ethereum 2.0. Next on our journey into Ethereum 2.0, we're visiting the beacon chain. You can think of the beacon chain as the heartbeat of Ethereum 2.0. It keeps the rhythm, ensuring everything runs smoothly and in time. The beacon chain is a separate POS blockchain running in parallel to the existing Ethereum network. This chain has one vital job, coordinating the network's validators, those we talked about earlier who stake their Ether to maintain and secure the network. Now each validator stakes a certain amount of Ether, acting as a form of security deposit. This stake is like their ticket to participate in the consensus mechanism, essentially voting on proposed blocks of transactions to be added to the blockchain. The beacon chain then organizes these validators, decides who gets to propose a new block, and who verifies it. Now the beacon chain also brings significant improvements in two major areas, security and scalability. First, security. By arranging validators in a certain way, the beacon chain makes it incredibly difficult for a single bad actor to take over. In simple terms, to control the network, you need to stake more ether than all the other validators combined. That's a hefty price to pay, making attacks very costly and unlikely. Second, scalability. Remember we talked about sharding? The beacon chain plays a big role there. It manages different shards effectively organizing our multiple checkout desks in our library analogy. This means more transactions can be processed at the same time, allowing Ethereum to handle much higher traffic without slowing down. Now understanding the beacon chain helps us grasp how Ethereum 2.0 maintains its security while greatly enhancing its scalability. It's the heart that keeps the Ethereum 2.0 body functioning efficiently pumping out blocks of transactions with each beat. So now that we've taken a look at the heart of Ethereum 2.0, the beacon chain, let's move on to another crucial component, shard chains. If the beacon chain is the heart of Ethereum 2.0, think of shard chains as the arteries, spreading the loads of transactions through the network. In Ethereum 1, every transaction has to be processed by every node on the network. It's like having a single highway where every car has to go one after the other. While this ensures a high level of security, it can lead to congestion, especially as more and more users join the network. Shard chains are here to change that. Picture our highway now expanding from one lane to many. Instead of processing transactions one after the other, now we can process many transactions simultaneously. Each shard chain is like a smaller, lighter version of Ethereum blockchain, capable of processing its transactions and smart contracts. The plan for Ethereum 2.0 is to have 64 of these shard chains, greatly increasing the network's capacity. But how do these shard chains interact with the rest of the Ethereum network? That's where the beacon chain comes in. It keeps track of the shard chains, making sure they all play nicely together. In simple terms, Shard chains allow Ethereum 2.0 to process multiple transactions simultaneously, greatly increasing the scalability of the network. This means that Ethereum 2.0 will be better equipped to handle the growing demand and become a more efficient network. So now we're ready to see how this new architecture will influence two major areas of the crypto world, decentralized applications or dApps and decentralized finance or DeFi. As you may already know, DApps and DeFi are two existing realms that are being built on the Ethereum network. These applications and financial instruments are transforming traditional industries by bringing decentralization, transparency, and accessibility. However, they are also bringing increased traffic and strain to the Ethereum network. So how will Ethereum 2.0 affect these burgeoning fields? Firstly, the increased scalability brought by Ethereum 2.0 will be a boon for DApps and DeFi platforms, 
Remember the shard chains? With the ability to process more transactions concurrently, the apps and DeFi platforms will be able to function more smoothly and efficiently. For developers, Ethereum 2.0 offers the opportunity to build more complex and robust DApps without worrying about the network's congestion or higher gas fees. Imagine being a city planner with the assurance that no matter how many buildings you add, the roads will always be wide enough to handle the traffic. For users, Ethereum 2.0 means faster transactions and potentially lower costs. Whether you're swapping tokens on a decentralized exchange, earning interest on a lending platform, or playing a blockchain-based game, you can expect a smoother and a more pleasant experience. As we look towards the future, Ethereum 2.0 holds a great promise for expansion and evolution of dApps and DeFi. By resolving key issues like scalability and energy efficiency, Ethereum 2.0 is not just an upgrade, but a catalyst that could accelerate the next wave of innovation in the crypto space. Now, as we've reached the end of our exploration of Ethereum 2.0, it's clear that this is not just an upgrade, but a transformative development in the blockchain and crypto space. From improving scalability and energy efficiency with shard chains, to implementing a new consensus model with the beacon chain and the proof of stake, Ethereum 2.0 represents the future of Ethereum and a crucial step forward for the wider crypto ecosystem. Now consider the possibilities we've discussed today. Picture a world where decentralized applications run smoothly, even under the most demanding loads. Envision a more inclusive financial system, where DeFi platforms can cater to even a larger audience thanks to lower costs and faster transactions. Imagine developers having the freedom to create more complex and powerful applications without being constrained by network limitations. That's the promise of Ethereum 2.0. But as exciting as these developments are, it's important to remember that we're just still at the dawn of this new era. This transition to Ethereum 2.0 is a journey, and like any journey, there will be challenges and obstacles along the way. It's crucial for anyone interested in Ethereum and the wider crypto world to stay informed and follow the progress of this monumental upgrade. Now as the world stands on the brink of this transformative evolution, one thing is certain, Ethereum 2.0 is set to reshape the landscape of blockchain and beyond. And there we have it, the end of our dive into Ethereum 2.0. Remember, the future of money is happening right here, right now, with the blockchain leading the way. Let's keep learning and decode it together.